Wait, he's coming, he's coming here. <laughs> yeah. Come out the way. He's gonna stop it. He's gonna stop it. with all the Christians, with all religions that come here. Today is a day to show that when you come to Speaker's Corner, today is, is about showing that you should be able to come here, you should Hallelujah. be able to say what you want to say, you should be able to preach what you want to preach, you should be able to argue what you want to argue, and you should not be under the threat of violence. What we saw last weekend as a Christian nation, Disgrace. we will not accept what we saw. We are here today as peaceful Christians to stand united with all Christians Amen. and with all faiths to say this is our place where we come to discuss. And I want to thank Bob and everyone that's making today happen. And we're here as peaceful. We want to get involved. We want to make sure that everyone here feels comfortable with our presence. We are not here for violence. We are not here to intimidate. We're here because Christ is King. But before, but before you go, before you go, Christ is King. 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 Before you go, the person who was attacked last week is here. We are the Just so you have had the opportunity to interview him on two occasions. Are you aware that the perpetrators of the incident last week has been charged with arson and attempted murder? Amen. No, I didn't know that. That's, so first that's good. Heard that. that's, but that's good. So th we'd like to speak to that individual if he's willing to speak to us. No, I mean, he, is. He, he, he is. Yeah. I mean, we Steve, want to put, the doctor we want the to put our hands around this the doctor, guy. The doctor. You know, every religion has the right to be here. No, every true. religion has the right to preach. Every religion has the right to argue here. What they don't, any religion doesn't have the right to do is attack anyone. That's right. And that's what we're here to support, to make sure that people understand. We, we give Christ this is king. king. We're just, Christ Christ is king. just getting the, is I'm just getting the doctor. Christ Christ is king. You can go over here. Christ is king. Christ is king. I can see him. He's coming. He's coming. Christ is king. I think the impact it will have is people will see this is a Christian nation. People think that Christianity is in decline that are not part of the church. Let me tell you now, Christianity is on the rise. We see what is happening to our brothers and sisters around the country and we see what is happening around the world. We can't do much about those Christians that are persecuted, but we can do something here. And I would ask any Christian to make sure they they share the videos from today. The love, the love. I want to talk to this guy because he's got guys in the attack. Yeah. So, so, this guy this guy so, so this is the doctor, Danny. And, and the doctor. Can you explain? Can, if you hold that doctor, can you explain to Danny what happened last week and what has subsequently happened? What's this game? <laughs> That's one of the reasons why it happened last week when I was when, uh, number my flag was taken away, the Israeli flag, which is in support of the Jewish people. Secondly, uh, my property was damaged, my table and Bible and books were trashed by two, principally two characters. Thank God that they were arrested and they were arrested on charges of uh, arson, attempted arson. I'm trying to basically burn me alive in Speaker's Corner. Never. Disgrace! What did they do? They say they tried to burn you alive. It was actually filmed. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually filmed it. They, they literally tried to burn me. I was on the ladder preaching, and somebody had a, a lighter and was trying to light me up. You never stand for it. So, fortunately, God protected me. I didn't know they were doing it. Uh -huh. 
Wow, this idiot was trying to bring me alive. And you also said about a charge of attempted murder. Can you tell us about that as well? Well, that follows on because it was attempted arson which failed and therefore that led to attempted murder because anything would have happened to me. So he was arrested in this specific charge. Oh no, 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 we want to say that we stand united with you. Amen. And there's anything we can do as a community, as a Christian community, to make you feel safer, then we'll do that. And from us, we're very sorry that we're here to support you. Christ is king! Christ is king! Christ is king! Christ is And we need to build our own Christian political party. We need to build our own Christian political movement. We have founded a Christian street marching movement called the Disciples of Christ. Hallelujah! And we are going to protest acts of aggression against Christians. We are going to protest double standards by the liberal elite That's right, amen. when they allow Bibles to be desecrated but arrest Christians or anyone for desecrating Never stand the for it. We are going to stand up to the liberal elite according to democratic principles through street protests, through marches and we aren't going to be silent anymore. No. Any church leader who discourages from you from being a political activist, ignore them. They are naive or foolish or cowards. Ladies and gentlemen, join the Disciples of Christ street movement. Find us on social media. Join the protests. We go at this moment, we're launching a campaign where we are going to be protesting outside of the embassies of all the nations where Christians are being persecuted. Amen! Amen. Christ is King! 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 That means, that means, I want every English Christian to join with us when we protest outside of the Nigerian embassy against the genocide that's occurring against Nigeria. I want every English Christian to join us when we protest outside of the Azerbaijan embassy for their genocide against Armenian Christians. I want every English Christian to join us when we protest outside of the Pakistan Embassy for its persecution of Pakistani Christians. We across Europe can no longer be silent when our brothers and sisters are being killed, when they're being driven from their homes. And ladies and gentlemen, here's a Brucey bonus. Do it. Because as English Christians, everybody loves a princey bonus. <laughs> You've got to be a certain age to get that joke. Tell us, Bob. Just Tell look at the Bob. people that are laughing. Tell us, Bob. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Bob a round of applause for everything he does here at Speaker's Corner. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Christ is king! 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 Christ is king!
that people talk about, middle-class Christianity being called out. There are a number of things which have to come together. At the helm is activism. Amen. At the helm is getting off your backside and standing shoulder to shoulder with your brothers and sisters and calling out the 1% that's spoiling it for everyone. Yeah! Call out the liberal elites. Call out the political class. Amen. There is an opportunity to galvanise behind a political war machine now that I am deputy leader of the UK Independence Party. And for all of those who say no to politics, what's the point? I say you're part of the problem. I say you're part of ignorance. You're part of apathy. The time for action is now. The call to action is now. There can be a new future. Amen. There can be a bright new future. It is based on activism. Amen. It is based on having your house in order and no longer living a disordered lifestyle. It is about prayer. It is about fasting. And it is about asking our Lord and Saviour to forgive you, me, a sinner. Amen. Amen. The opportunity has presented itself. And it is an honour, as always, to speak on behalf of the Disciples of Christ movement. If you haven't already found it, follow it on X, formerly known as Twitter. That is Christ at Christ Saves UK. At Christ Saves UK. Whenever we do this, you will be notified via X. We have banners. We are looking for people to gather behind the banner if they want to and to have a picture to send a message to apathy, to liberalism, to ignorance and to the political elite that muscular Christianity lives in Britain. Okay, before you go, yeah, mate. Oh, there's... 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 Oh, there's...
Excuse me. It'll be music to your ears. We Christians, as in English. You have been lied to by the liberal elites. You have been lied to by the liberal elites. So, one, I'm just going to do a quick finish talk. Don't go over, boy. So, let's be clear. This brother is an Englishman, has been lied to by the liberal elites. The English have a history that goes back to the 4th century, but we never hear about any of it. And the reason why we never hear about any of it is because it is soaked in Christianity. Christians have faced Islamic aggression for 1400 years. 1400 years, Muslim armies have marched somewhere in some Christian population, crying out Allah Akbar, destroying churches, kidnapping children, kidnapping women, kidnapping and destroying Christian populations, and then oppressing them under Sharia law, making them into dinis. The Christians of the past understood that. The English of today, because of the liberal elites and the way that the liberal elites have lied to us about our history, denied our history to us in the education system, don't know any of it. I want to say to any English patriot who feels somewhat kind of despair about the direction of travel that is going, Welcome to the war. We've been fighting it for 1400 years. You don't give up just because things look dark and bad. Christians in Eastern Europe live 400 years under Islamic occupation. Christians in Ethiopia live centuries under Islamic occupation. Christians in Spain live seven centuries under Islamic occupation. They never gave up. They never gave up because we know that in the end, because of Christ, we win. We won in the past and we'll win again. Why do you think the uh, Islamic colonization that he spoke about, but the British colonization he spoke about? Yeah, because, because the liberal elites don't know about Arab colonialism. Did you, did you know, did you know Shame on you! Why are you always so aggressive? Why are you always so aggressive? You claim it's the religion of peace, but it's not. What does it mean? What does it mean? The reason that we are yes, here yes, is because for years, yes. Yes. Okay, people yes. at the corner that identify as Christian, like myself, like yeah. my friends, have been attacked, have been slandered, mm. and have been shown fear at this yes. corner. I refuse to accept that yes. Christianity succumbs to fear. Mm, that's right. Amen. 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 Christ is king. 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 Wait, 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 wait. And remember why we are here. The suffering in Armenia. The suffering in Nigeria, the banditry in the north of my home country. I didn't even go to northern Nigeria to see my friends because they were being killed in their own churches. I refuse to allow my friends to die. Christ tell me, tell me, tell me, where is the humility in these people? Where is the fruit of the Spirit? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. You see no fruit in these people. There is no fruit of the Spirit. Aggressive. In these people. Aggressive there behavior. Is no humility. That's there the only no reason why they dominate by the, by the sword. No peace by the sword. No That's why you guys dominate. Is there any sword? No peace. Is there a reason? Why are you guys going quiet? Why are you covering your faces now? Why are you guys going quiet? Why are your faces covered now? Is there a reason why you don't like him becoming a Christian? What does it mean? Alam tara kaifa fa alo rabu kabi asabi fil. What does it mean? You guys mention Arabic. What does it mean? Come on. Exactly. He doesn't know. Back away. Like I said. Like I said. No. 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 No
What does it mean? Allah Tara Kaifa for Allah Rabu Kabi Asab and Feen. Allah Kaida Hong Kong. He asked you what does it mean? He asked you what does it mean? You didn't know. Muslims are meant to know Arabic. So what does it mean, my friend? Or you are a fake ex Muslim. You're a fake Muslim because you do not know what it means. Arabize, Arabize, Arabize. Because you don't know Islam. Once you know Islam, you'll be out of it. There you go. Any more questions? Everybody who runs all the time for almost a decade as long as I can remember, your Dayees have lied to you over and over and over again. Where are the Dawa Gandhis today? Where are they? The general narrative was was that Islam was a religion of peace. And in no way do they enforce the death penalty. In no way do they adopt slavery. The slavery that my ancestors went through, in no way would they advocate for that. No! Your main dais, like Muhammad Hijab, will advocate for the sexual subjugation of people that are too professional, of people that are minors. Whoa. I have seen Muhammad Hijab publicly say that there isn't any issue as long as a girl is physically mature. Wow! Disgrace! Oh, Disgrace! Disgusting! That is filthy. However, that is not my problem today. My problem today is people like this individual. Yeah. I have to wear my mask because I have to wear my mask because I like It's a statue made by eyes. Because we can have more to chant, Christ is King! 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 I do. She is absolutely correct! She is correct! You will be living as Christians! You will be getting on your knees and you will be asking for forgiveness! Amen! You will be repenting! You will accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour! Amen! You will be filled with the Holy Ghost! You will not just say you are Christian! But you will live as a Christian! Amen! Amen! Christ is King! 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 Ricky, do you want to Listen, this country is a great Christian country. This country is one of the greatest Christian countries in history. If you want to know the heritage of this land, that heritage is Jesus Christ. You see this flag? Jesus Christ. This is St. George who died on a cross 
because he refused to refute his faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. And we, as British Christians, refuse to refute our faith in Jesus Christ. We refuse for our brothers and sisters to be persecuted. We refuse for our brothers and sisters to be attacked. We refuse Islamic aggression. We refuse to be silent. Christ is king. 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 My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Do we want to get Bob? Let's get Bob in. Where's Bob? Bob! 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 Amen. Lord, we all will face death 
which is physical, but eternal life is only through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I have the power to bring my life down and I have the power to raise it up. And that Jesus did it on the cross. Jesus Christ, he was crucified, he resurrected, and he's alive and he's coming again to judge the whole world once and for final time. And Jesus Christ is not a God. Christ is king. Christ is king. Christ is king. Christ is king. Whilst we are all here to listen and to hear and to learn from people who can defend the faith professionally, which is what Bob is going to be doing, there is another angle to why we are here today. Last weekend, attempted murder once again put on our Christian brothers and sisters. Bibles, Christian literature desecrated up and down the country between World Hijab Transformation Day and Islamic recruitment posts. Can you imagine mainstream media headlines if they were to be attacked? Can you imagine what we would see on our screens? But attempted murder at High Park. Better not say too much about that. We are here to understand more about totalitarian propaganda, also known as far left extremism. It is designed to silence you. It is designed to beat you into submission. Is it designed to emasculate you, to put you on the back foot? Once you understand something, you can control it. And that goes for your behavior. Don't be put on the back foot. What happened last weekend should be mainstream media news. The perpetrators should be made an example out of, and the press should be inspiring. Amen. Listen. Amen. And those people that are now the one for saying, so you will not hear about it. That's why we're here, that's why these guys are here, and it's only because of Christian voices and... Hallelujah! Christ is King! 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 Who's the King of England? Jesus! Christ is king. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the king of England? Christ is king. Who's the king of Nigeria? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of Pakistan? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of France? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of Germany? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of Saudi Arabia? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of Mecca? Christ, Christ is king. Who's the king of the Kaaba? Christ is king. Who's the king of Medina? Christ is king. Who's the king of Mohammed? Christ is king. Who's the king of the Quran? Christ is king. Who's the king of Aisha? Christ is king. Who's the king of Uthman? Christ is king. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now heard two attempted murders in this park. Disgrace. Two attempted murders in this park that have been sandwiched between a litany week after week, week in, week out of intimidation, no more. harassment and bullying by Islamist thugs. Disgusting! No Disgrace! We have captured on camera Muslims threatening to stab people but no arrests. We have caught on camera Muslims headbutting Christians, but no arrests. Disgrace. Stealing their Qurans, but no arrests. We've captured on camera Christians identifying their stolen property in the hands of Muslims, no arrests. Horrible. We have identified people on camera physically assaulting people and no arrests. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that the Archbishop of Canterbury is an utter coward, and that the Archbishop of York is an utter coward, 
Christ is with us. We, who can be against us? Amen. Amen. We as Christians will not be intimidated out of this park. Never. We will claim this park for Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we are going to demonstrate to everyone that in our hearts as Christians there is courage. Yes. And why do we have courage as Christians? Here is why. Because Christ said, fear no man who can only destroy the body, but fear only God whom, having destroyed the body, can cast the soul into the fires of hell. Amen! Christ is risen! Christ is risen! Christ is risen! Christ is risen! And that is why, brothers and sisters, we shall be, as Paul said, more than conquerors. Amen! We have already beaten all of these Dawa Gandhists in intellectual arguments. Every Dawa script that they have brought to us, we have destroyed. They run from us in intellectual arguments. But I am not satisfied with only an intellectual victory. I want complete victory. Amen! Amen! to resound with the name of Jesus, Amen. to resound with the gospel, Amen. to see souls saved here, Amen. to see people become Christians here. Amen. So from now on, when the Muslims pray in this park, Christians will pray in this park. Amen. If the police do not interrupt Muslims when they pray in the park. They should not interrupt Christians when we pray. Amen. From now on, we will stand up to the Islamist police. We will not be intimidated. Never. And what we need is Christian unity. We need Christians to unite as brothers and sisters yes. in Christ. Amen. We are called, as Christians, to offer up our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice, Amen. to be active soldiers on duty for Jesus. Amen. That is what we are called to be. In other words, the identity of every Christian is to be a warrior priest unto the Lord. That means, ladies and gentlemen, as warrior priests, we seek to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Amen! So I'm going to invite you to join me with a prayer for our Father. Let's do it, Bob! Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. To where's where to wealthy Carl Archbishop of Canterbury. Ignore these voices of the devil. Christ is king! 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 Shame on you! 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 These are the voices of division. These are the voices that will turn 
Come on. 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 Come so I'm going up there, but I can't talk to five people at once. That's only me and her. We're not kicking off. I'm trying to get into the scuffle. I'm not fighting anybody. In fact, they tried to fight me earlier on. That's what I mean. I'm fine. I'm standing right here, practicing my free speech, and you Bobites need to repent. The Bible does not say you pray to saints. The Bible does not say you pray to Mary. The Bible says there's only one gospel that leads to salvation, and you're Bobites. You are a you're a demon as well. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. These are double legends. These are double legends. These are double legends. All these people have four lashes. They don't believe in the law. They are the Lord first, then your country. Care the Lord first, then your country. Christ says he will come with you a better kingdom. Christ says he will come with a better kingdom. I'm defending nothing for the gospel. The truth says in Galatians 1, 8 to 9, if anybody has to know the gospel, let them be a curse. You do not have the right you are fools! How many times have you run from me? How many times have you run from me? Madness! All you do is shout at people and shout at me. All you do is shout at people and shout at me. Come on! Christ. We must believe in the true gospel of Christ. 